to my channel hello if you are new so it is currently august 22nd when i'm filming this but i wanted to get this out a little bit earlier for you guys now it is not as early as august 22nd because this video is actually going out next saturday but i did want to go ahead and get the budget set up and see where we are with the numbers for september so i can make any adjustments i think are necessary with my august budget to ensure that I have the best September ever. Um, there is a lot going on in September. There is birthdays. Uh, it is the month of the most birthdays in my family in September. So I really want to make sure that I'm prepared for that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the numbers and show you what I'm gonna be doing in the month of September. So starting at income, we have four weeks at $612.82. That brings my total income to $2,451.28. For giving, September is a very big month. I have a lot of birthdays in September. There's a lot going on in September. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $80 in there. And anything left over from this $80, something I'm really hoping there's leftovers for is that going to start my Christmas fund. Um, so it is the time if you are not thinking about it to start thinking about what you spend for Christmas and what you need to be saving. Some people save all year round. I prefer to start around September, um, sometimes October, depending on how much I've decided to put to the fund. For giving, $20 is in there. That means I have $145 at the end of this month. Other, my grandma has 49 cents just hanging out in the other. My rent is $355.15. My water, I'm budgeting $40. My natural gas, I know, is $20.86, and that will be coming out on September 2nd. Electricity, I'm still not sure what my electric bill is. I really am not happy that they changed the due dates because it really is affecting my budget because I'm unsure what my electric bill is. I do know that it is hopefully suppo supposed to start cooling down. So this will probably be my highest bill in September and hopefully it starts going down after that. My internet is $70 and that will come out on the 10th. So I can go ahead and put that in there. Household maintenance, I'm putting $50 in there. So I'll have 301.33. Lawn care, I'm putting $40 in there. We are also starting to get to the point of the year where our the grass is started to die and it needs a little bit less maintenance. Now this year has been a different story, uh, so we'll see whether that holds true for the normal schedule that I have for lawn care. Pet care, I have $100 going in there, so my dog uh, needs a haircut and a nail trim really, really badly. Um, with everything that had been going on, I had been putting it off and I really need to get it scheduled for September. And then, uh, her teeth cleaning, unfortunately is $155 by itself. And so I am going to go ahead and get the haircut and the nail trim and then start saving a little extra every month. So by the time her next haircut and nail trim comes around, she can also have her teeth cleaned. And if you hear a noise in the background, my dog is chewing on a bone, so she is crunching along. Gas, $250. Maintenance, $100. So this is another thing that you will see a little bit more money going towards, and that is because I have an oil change, and I'm going to start as I take it in for oil changes, getting something done every time. I have a list of stuff that I just want to keep up with maintenance wise. Food, I'm going to have $50 in groceries. That means I have $91.82. And restaurants, I'm putting $70. I've decided not to lower this just because now that I am debt free, I have decided that I'm going to start enjoying myself and hanging out with friends and family and start contributing a little bit more uh, when I go out with my family uh, by paying for my own meals. 
Um, phone bill is $37.47. Medical is only for my chiropractor, so $180 will last the rest of the year. My clothing, I am putting $10.37, and the reason for that is I want this at $500. Now, I am going to be placing orders uh, for some stuff as we get ready for the fall season and going into winter. I do get my hair done, so I've budgeted $110. My Spotify and Hulu is $9.99. Netflix is $8.99. My Amazon Prime is coming out next month, so I'll have to think about that. Acorns, I have done $8, $3 for charge for use, and $5 for the reoccurring investment every month. Insurance benefit card still has $436.28 on it. Entertainment, so this is a new category that I have decided to add at the end of August. I decided to add it, and that is, again, just because I am debt-free, I am going out with my friends more often. So this could include things like in the past that I've done that I've had to decide where to put. Um, things like going on ghost tours, going to the zoo. Um, for instance, I'm going to the zoo today um, with friends. Uh, just going out in general, like I've gone bowling and stuff like that, any of that kind of stuff will go to this category. And I've made it a fund so things roll over. Um, so if I decide to do a big trip or something else that I want to plan for, I already have money being saved. Insurance. So my car insurance has $350 sitting in there. That should take care of my car insurance come November. Um, the car tags um, are $100. So I'm going to put $100 in there. And then everything else sits at zero. And we're going to slowly put everything in. So that will be covered for the next time everything rolls around. My startup cost for business, $50. I'm going to put that in there. My savings, so in my savings, I have my standard emergency fund that was my original $1,000 emergency fund, and that is still sitting there and it will still remain separated. And then that means for my emergency fund right now, I have $570.45 going into the fund, meaning at the end of this month of September, I will have $10,173.64 in the fund. Now, obviously, this could change because if I have to lower or increase my amount that I put into savings in October, this will change this amount because this is only accounting for what I currently have um, going into my savings uh, or what is planned to currently go into my savings. Okay, so there you guys go. That is our month of September budget. Now, as you can see, we do have the income and the regular spending, but you will notice that I've added the category of entertainment. And that is because now that I am debt free, I do want to spend money on things that I enjoy, such as bowling, going golfing, just having weekends with my friends, things like that. I just feel like it's necessary to enjoy my spending a little bit more. Now, the spending budget will change month to month depending on what I think I have going on. And over the next couple months, I will be kind of figuring out how much things cost because I spent so long not spending money that honestly, I don't know how much things cost anymore. So the next few months, will be me trying to fine tune uh, my budget in the sense of how much money I want to put towards it. And then on top of that, that will be changing as I decide to do more or less during any given month. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye.